Hey guys, how's everyone doing? So this is just going to be a, a quick little video on finding engineering work and why it's difficult for some people. I know a lot of you guys have signed up here for advice, engineering advice, because you've had difficulties or you've had anxiety finding work in your field. So let's talk about why that can be the case and what you can do about it. There's a few things first that everyone should know about engineering. It's obviously competitive. You're working with really smart people. Your classmates are going to be really smart. So you're going to get pushed. It's stressful. And I don't think that stress uh, ever goes away. You know, it, and, and it's not always a bad thing. There's, there's good stress and there's bad stress. But th the stress is always going to be there. And I guess my third point is the schools are not there to guide you. Your professors are not engineers. They're there to teach you the course material. And that's pretty much it. The onus is going to be on you to sort of figure things out for your career and to set yourself up so that you can find work that you want to do when you're done school. So how come it seems like some people can, you know, find work pretty easily and others struggle? Well, let's talk about first what employers look for, particularly from students and from new grads. Number one is experience. In engineering school, you've got two routes you can go down. Right? You can take the traditional route, which is your standard four-year uh, degree, or you can take the apprenticeship program, which is where you do three or four internships, and you take a little bit longer to graduate, but you come out with a whole bunch of experience. I generally recommend students take this path. Uh, unless you, you have a path already, determined, you know, you're going to work in this field, your dad works in this company, you're, you know, you're going to work there in the summer, uh, whatever it is, I think taking the apprenticeship route is, is the better route, because that's the, the number one thing employers look for is relevant work experience. The second thing is a good attitude. A good attitude can make up for a lot of what you're lacking in technical abilities. So if you are getting interviewed, and you say something like, listen, I know I'm not the most qualified candidate, but I work my ass off. I learn really fast. I'm a great team player. I've got a great attitude. I'm willing to do work that other people don't want to do. I want to help you uh, achieve your goal. I, I love what your company is doing. I love this industry. I know it's a risk taking uh, a, a risk on someone like me, but I'm asking you to take that chance because you won't regret it. You know, like it, it's it's hard to say no to that. So take take this the opportunity in, in your schooling to gain some experience, to work on on your attitude, work on yourself, take your extracurriculars. It's going to take a little bit of work, uh, but you 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 have to sort of do these things if you kind of want to stand out and get not only a job but but the job that you kind of want when you're done school. What about engineering majors? Are some majors better than others? Sure. I think, you know, it comes down to supply and demand, right? So generally, I think the, the big three, electrical, civil, mechanical, I think those are fine degrees. Maybe some pay a little more uh, on average than others. You know, computer science, maybe it's not really engineering, but computer science, probably the best STEM degree to have right now just because of how in demand it is. So, you know, yes, they, they are different. Um, I would, I, I always say like to, Make sure you have an interest in your line of work. Uh, you know, using computer science, that's an incredibly tough, intense, demanding work. And so if you don't have a desire to program, then, you know, you're going to be pretty miserable doing that kind of work if you don't particularly enjoy it. So I would say find a balance between finding something that pays all right and something that you have an interest in. And then I guess my last point is you, you have to you have to look at the situation that you're you're living in. A lot of you guys are from India and there's a big problem over there with engineering. They churn out for whatever reason a huge surplus of engineering graduates, most of whom are not qualified to work as engineers because the the schools are not adequately resourced, the professors are not qualified to teach. And so you end up with a pretty big majority of the engineering graduates who end up just doing IT work. And, and that's really unfortunate. In a case like that, where you've already graduated, it's kind of tough. You have to try, I think, to, to wedge your way into your industry however you can. 
that means taking, say, a construction job or, or any sort of labor job that's in your field, I think you have to start there. You, you have to try to get your foot in somehow as opposed to, you know, you know working any, any regular job like an IT job. But you have to try and find a way in your field and then work your way up from there. It's not, it's not easy. I don't have a great answer for that. But I think generally India is an example of like an, a pretty extreme case. For the most part, I think if you follow, follow sort of these points that I've listed, uh, gain some experience while you're in school, work on yourself and your attitude, take some extracurriculars, uh, and find a major that's, you know, in demand. Uh, generally, you 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 you, sh- you should be all right. It's 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 just not enough these days to just get a degree and just, you know, rely on that. You have to put in the work. You have to put in extra work, and. Um, and sort of go from there and hopefully that that helps some people um uh, yeah that that's it for for this video just wanted to put out something something quickly i know a lot of you guys sat up here for advice and um i'm gonna try and do some more advice uh videos thank you guys for uh for listening to this one let, let me know of any comments any other questions down below and we will i will see you next time okay thanks guys peace <laughs>